Hello and welcome to Business Angola. Today we are going to show you how Angola intends to revolutionize the landscape of Southern Africa. Using private investment, it wants to transform the port of Libitu into the gateway of this region. We will also see how the province of Benguela is expected to become the epicenter of trade and development in Southern Africa. The Atlantic port of Lubitu, along with the Benguela Railroad, makes up the Lubitu Corridor, which reaches more than 1,300 kilometers deep into the continent. It's the quickest export route for copper, cobalt, and other ores from Zambia and the Democratic Republic of Congo and beyond. With the railway renovated, the port of Lubitu is now ready for a renaissance. Angola is privatizing it with a 20-year concession to attract new investments and boost the economy. The port of Lubitu is a serious opportunity to create a nub on the Atlantic coast to import and export uh, goods and products from Zambia DRC to the coast. It's really an opportunity to create an alternative to the Indian Ocean coast. As head of an investment banking advisory firm who's lived in Angola for more than 20 years, Pedro Neto says it's much more than moving metal from the mines. As they, they could export copper and manganese from DRC and Zambia, you could also use Lubit to bring the goods to the interior using the Lubitu port. You see on this railway corridor in Lubitu, you have a huge importance of the agriculture sector, and that could be a huge point in favor of developing the port. Privatizing the port of Lubitu and the Benguela Railroad is part of the Angolan government's wider plan to diversify the country's economy with the help of more private investment. The World Bank Group backs the idea. The Ministry of Transport's master plan is closely linked to the port of Lubitu and the Lubito Corridor. With the participation of foreigners, we can improve our infrastructure and our efficiency as well. Foreign investment is already happening in Angola's largest port, Luanda. DP World, the Dubai port management company, won the bidding for it early this year. We have received 30 internal truck vehicles, and we will be receiving during the upcoming days a rich stackers, empty handlers, and an additional mobile hardware crane that is just going to help to bring more efficiency to this terminal. And he sees great potential for Lobito as well. The port of Lobito is a port that has a great infrastructure. It has the potential to become the gateway to the southern part of uh, Congo and also to Zambia. That's what drove the builders of the Benguela Railroad more than a century ago. Now it's about bringing the Lubitu Corridor further into the 21st century with more private investment. Rail transport is the cheapest means of transport. It can carry large quantities and is less harmful to the environment. Lubitu is already geared for larger shipments from the mines with a new terminal to load from trains to ships. After the railway infrastructure was recovered, it was thought that there should be a special terminal dedicated only to ore. Also key, a wider range of cargo in both directions, involving millions of people, more potential industry, consumers and passengers. The railway crosses what now represents 32, 34 percent of the agricultural production in Angola. And also, as on those four provinces uh, along the railway line, you have a concentration of around six million people. That also means more jobs for people like this train engineer. The Lubito corridor is very, very important here in Africa as we have the port in Lubito and we also have a great dynamic in terms of transport from Lubitu to the former Belgian Congo. A real social and economic transformation is coming to Angola with the privatization of the port of Lubitu in the province of Benguela and the railway in the Lubitu corridor. That's all for Business Angola today. You can watch this report again on the webpage dedicated to Angola on euronews.com.